From the moment of the sacrament of baptism, we were anointed after baptism as priest, prophet, and king. Priest. There is the ministerial priesthood, then there's the common priesthood of the faithful. Ministerial priesthood means the man who's been ordained by the bishop to offer sacrifices, especially the holy sacrifice of the Mass. And then there's the common priesthood of the faithful. That means you who are baptized are called to exercise your priesthood by offering yourself with Christ especially in the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass for the salvation of sinners and for the salvation of the whole world. Priest, prophet, and king were called to be kings. But king doesn't mean a king that's going to be always honored and praised. Rather king in the realm of service. Jesus was the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, said He came not to be served, but to serve and to give His life in ransom for many. And then prophet. Prophet is not simply someone who can look into the future. We've got the prophets of the Old Testament, Jeremiah, Isaiah, Ezekiel, and the greatest of all of prophets, which was a bridge between Old Testament and New Testament, is John the Baptist. Prophet is someone who, who proclaims the kingdom. And the nature of a prophet is he proclaims the kingdom and sometimes says certain things that people do not want to hear. We see Jeremiah and Ezekiel preaching and encountering a lot of resistance. We see our Lord in the synagogue of Capernaum preaching. And they were indignant at what he preached and they led him to the brow of the hill with the intention of pushing him headlong over the hill. We at times have to tell people certain things that are wrong that they don't want to hear. That's our role as prophet. So through baptism we're called to be priests, prophets, as well as kings.